everyone, this is Karen. Hi everybody, this is Shane. Today we're looking at a lesson called translation practice.、Ooh. And what are we going to talk about well, today? One of the topics is one of my favorite things about Taiwan. Ah, <gasps> what is it? Night markets. Ah,、oh, that's my favorite thing about Taiwan too. No, I didn't say it was my favorite. That's one of、oh, my favorite、okay. things. But they're so cool. I really like the culture. Of night markets, and it's something that we I didn't have in Los Angeles where I grew up.、Mm -hmm. We have nothing like this. Exactly in Canada too. We didn't really have night markets, only on very special occasions,、yeah. and then we would have night markets. But in Taiwan, it's there every single day.、Oh, there's lots of great food and some games you can play. And shopping. That's right, and you can bargain with the vendors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you like bargaining? Yeah. Are you good at bargaining? I'm pretty good. Really? I'm, I'm pretty good. Yeah. So if I went to the night market and I want to buy something, I could take you along. Yes, yes and, and I you can help you. Get me a good price. Yes. Yes,、Ooh, I can. And you、nice. know what? I live right next to a night market. Oh, so you practice every day. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll say this is two hundred. You say okay, I'll give you two. No, that's too much. And they say what? And then they just. They, just they would you. ask you to leave. You、yeah. gotta be reasonable. See, I'm not good at it. So、You're、you need、not. you need to teach me. Okay, I'll take you to the night market、and、one day. I'll buy you some yummy food and、oh, snacks. And I love the food in the night market. And you teach me how to bargain. Deal. Deal plan. Deal. Well, shake on it. Shake on it.、Okay. All, right. All right. Enjoy today's lesson. See you at the night market. Translation practice. Practice A. Night markets in Taiwan attract tourists from around the world. As the sky darkens, they join locals at the night markets to enjoy special snacks. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to this month's translation practice. Hanny and I are going to be helping you folks translate four Chinese sentences into perfect English. That is right. Word to the wise, everyone. Translation is not easy, but that's why we're here. We're here to help you guys out. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the first sentence of the day. 今天要翻译的第一个句子是台湾的夜市吸引来自世界各地的观光客。那主词是台湾的夜市，你可以用 Taiwan's night market 来表示。那么动词是吸引。好，由于这个句子在陈述事实，所以时态用现在简单式。Okay, let's kick things off by looking at some vocabulary. By the way, we'll try to both charm and fascinate you throughout this explanation. Attract, charm, fascinate. If something attracts you, this thing draws you to it. It brings you in, so to speak. Now, if something charms you, you like that thing, and you think that that thing is delightful. Then, if something fascinates you, it makes you intensely curious or interested. So, note that yes, these words are similar, but they're used in slightly different ways. Further, each has a different strength. For example. I was attracted to the restaurant by its pleasant smell. <sighs> I was、uh, charmed by the movie star when I met her in person. Or, I decided to study science in college because it fascinates me. 好，要表达吸引，我们可以用 attract。Charm 或者是 fascinate 这三个动词来表达，其中这个 charm 当名词，它表示魅力或是吸引力。那当动词就可以表达使什么着迷，使什么陶醉的意思。好，再来看 fascinate。Fascinate 这个动词，它表示深深吸引或是迷住，使什么神魂颠倒。例如 ，The singer fascinated the audience with his amazing performance. 那位歌手以他精湛的演出使观众着迷。Night markets are fascinating places, everyone. Some of the smaller ones too can be considered charming. One way or another, night markets make people want to come to them. I completely agree. 
night markets have been able to attract tourists from around the world. Tourists from around the world. The phrase from around the world means from everywhere, from almost everywhere on planet Earth. Now, note, you could also use the phrase from all over the world. Yes, if something attracts tourists from around the world or from all over the world, tourists from countries far and wide have come to see this thing. For example, tourists from around the world have taken selfies in front of the Eiffel Tower. 嗯,世界各地的观光客来到巴黎,一定都要跟巴黎铁塔,跟这个埃菲尔铁塔自拍。好,要表达来自世界各地的观光客,英文可以说, tourists from around the world,或者是 tourists from all over the world. 例如, the museum attracts tourists from all over the world. 这就表示那间博物馆吸引来自世界各地的观光客。好,那现在我们学会如何用英文表达吸引,还有来自世界各地的观光客。现在可以翻译整个句子咯。So, the sentence could be... Night markets in Taiwan attract tourists from around the world. Okay, why wait? Why not dive into the second sentence of the day right now? Okay, 今天要翻译的第二个句子是天黑时他们加入本地人到夜市享用特色小吃好那么主词是他们动词是加入因为这个句子在承接上一句所以时态是用现在简单式。Okay, let's go ahead and talk about when the sky darkens. Okay, the phrases are as the sky darkens or as it gets dark. Everyone, on a daily basis, the sky gets dark. It usually gets dark at around nighttime or during the evening. Yes, that's when, for the most part, the sky darkens. That's when the sky gets dark or darkens. Yes, the verb is darken. And the adjective is dark. And very simply, to darken is to become dark. So, if the sky darkens, it gets dark. That's it. For example, as the sky darkened, he realized that it was time to go home. 当天色变暗的时候,他突然意识到,啊,该回家了。好,那么dark,dark这个形容词形容暗的,黑暗的。那你在字尾加上en就会变成动词darken Darken就表示使什么变暗或者是暗下来 好,要表达天黑时或者是天色变暗时 英文就可以说 As the sky darkens 或者是 As it gets dark 例如 They hurried home as the sky darkened and the wind picked up 当天色变暗,风势变强的时候他们就匆匆忙忙赶回家 Okay, it seems like we're talking about night markets a lot today. Mm-hmm. And we're not done either. Join locals at the night markets. Now, let's start at the beginning. To join means to do something with or alongside someone or some group of people. Okay? Also, locals are people who live in a place. Locals live somewhere. They're not visiting that place. Anyway, to join locals at the night markets, well, this means that you attend these night markets while these locals are there. You're there too with them. You are attending alongside them and not as though you meant to meet them there at that time or at some scheduled time. For example, I say we join the locals in taking in the sunset at the far side of the island. 嗯,我们应该加入本地人,一起去岛屿的另一头来欣赏日落。好, join locals at the night markets 就表示加入本地人到夜市。好,这个local当形容词表示本地的当地的,当名词就表示本地人当地人。好,至于动词join,join呢,它表示参加或是加入像是加入某个人或某个团体。Join somebody 就表示和某人一起做某事。那顺便补充一下, join in 则是指参与加入,通常是指参与别人已经在做的活动。好,我们来看两个例句。
We're going to the beach. Would you like to join us? Yeah. 我们要去海边，你要加入吗 ？Okay. After watching for a few minutes, she joined in the dance. 她看了几分钟之后，就加入跳舞的行列，一起跳舞喽。All right. The break is fast approaching. Before we can break, though. We have some vocabulary to peruse. To look over.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about special snacks. Special snacks. Special things, everyone, are unique. They can only be found in one place. Let's say now, a snack is a small, tasty piece of food. That is usually eaten in between meals. Okay, it's not usually a meal in and of itself. Anyways, what's a special snack? A special snack is a snack that is special. That's it. For example, stinky tofu is a special snack enjoyed by Taiwanese locals. 嗯，臭豆腐是台湾特色小吃，我们本地人都爱吃，只是有一些外国人不太敢尝试。好，要表达特色小吃，英文可以说 special snacks。例如 ，frog soup is one of the town's special snacks。那个城镇的其中一种特色小吃就是青蛙汤。同学们知道我在说什么地方吗？那就是云林北港的青蛙汤。好了，那现在我们已经学会所有相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be: As the sky darkens, they join locals at the night markets to enjoy special snacks. Okay, with that, we are now done with the first part of today's lesson. Yep, and that means it's time for a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon with the second half of this month's translation practice lesson. Translation practice. Practice B. Smoking causes a wide range of health problems, which may shorten a smoker's lifespan. Therefore, smokers should make up their minds to quit smoking right away in order to live a longer life. Welcome back. Hanny and I are here to start wrapping up this month's translation practice. You heard me right. Once we've finished explaining the next two sentences. We'll be all done. Correct. So let's take a look at the third sentence of the day right now. 今天要翻译的第三个句子是：抽烟造成各式各样可能会缩短吸烟者寿命的健康问题。那主词是抽烟，动词是造成。还要特别注意，我们是用动名词 smoking 抽烟来当主词。那以动名词当主词就必须视为第三人称单数，所以你的动词要用单数型哦。好，那这个句子在陈述事实，所以时态用现在式。Okay, let's get underway once again by talking about. Cause and effect relationships. Cause, result in, lead to, or bring about. Bring about, lead to, result in, and cause all mean about the same thing. Okay, to bring about or to cause something is to make something happen. Similarly, if A leads to B, doing A will result in B. Very simply, in situations where we want to express how one thing made another thing happen, we can use the phrases "lead to," "bring about," "result in," or the verb "cause." Using any of these will express a cause and effect relationship. For example, eating junk food can cause weight gain. 嗯，吃垃圾食物可能会导致体重增加哦。那么 ，cause Result in, lead to, bring about. These all can be used to express a cause or effect relationship. For example, poor eating habits may lead to obesity. 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 His rash resulted from a food allergy. 他起疹子是因为食物过敏。Okay, next we will be talking about variety. Yup, we'll be talking about variety and 
how to indicate that there is a variety of things present somewhere. A wide or broad or whole range of noun. A wide, broad, whole range of something, everyone, is a variety of something. If there are all kinds or types of something in one place, or if something can be found somewhere in all its shapes and sizes and forms, you can say that there is a wide, broad, or whole range of this thing. For example, Netflix features a wide variety of movies and TV shows that you can choose from. 同学们有没有用过 Netflix 这个网络随选串流影片的平台呢？它里面有各式各样的电影，还有电视剧可以看哦。那我们要表达各式各样的什么什么，英文有很多讲法。你可以用 a wide range of， a broad range of， a whole range of， 或者是你用 a wide variety of， a large variety of， a great variety of， 或者是你还可以用 all kinds of， all sorts of。All types of 等等，这些用法后面都可以接复数可数名词或是不可数名词。例如 ，The store sells a wide range of beauty products. 那间店有卖各式各样的美容产品。Okay, everyone. Sentence number three is almost in the books. You could say that sentence number three's lifespan is limited. I I guess you could say that.、Hmm. Anyways. Lifespan. Let's talk about lifespan. A span here, everyone, is a period of time. Something's lifespan is the period of time that this thing lasts. Okay, a person or an animal's lifespan, for instance, is the period of time that a person or an animal spends living on planet Earth. For example. The average lifespan of a person living in the United States is about 80 years. 美国人的平均寿命大约是八十岁。好 ，span 这个字当名词呢，它可以指一段时间。那么 lifespan 就是寿命。例如 ，the average lifespan of a house cat is about 15 years. 家猫的平均寿命大约是十五岁。好了，那现在我们学会所有相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be: Smoking causes a wide range of health problems, which may shorten a smoker's lifespan. Okay, everyone, it is time to take a look at sentence number four. 今天要翻译的第四个句子是：因此，为了要活久一点，吸烟者应该立刻下定决心戒烟。好，我们的主词是吸烟者，那动词是应该下定决心。由于这句在承接上一句，所以时态也是用现在式。Okay, there is a lot of work to be done in this sentence. Lucky for us, though, the first discussion that we're going to cover right now isn't too bad. Therefore, or as a result, the word therefore and the phrase as a result are almost identical in meaning. Yeah, the word therefore and the phrase as a result mean so. Anyway, if something happens as a result of something else, or this thing follows that thing, or happens because of that thing, what we're saying is that one thing occurs and then another thing occurs, or one thing occurs and therefore, or as a result, that other thing occurs. For example, the young man didn't study enough. Therefore, he failed his exam. That's why, or the reason why, he failed. 那一位同学不够用功，所以他考试不及格。好 ，therefore 跟 as a result 意思就跟 so 差不多，可以用来表达所以、因此怎么样、怎么样。可是要特别注意哦 ，therefore 是副词 ，as a result 是副词片语。用它们来连接两句的时候，记得要用逗号跟主要子句隔开。例如。Harry lost his keys. As a result, he couldn't get into his apartment. Harry 的钥匙不见了，所以他没有办法进到公寓里面。所以看到 as a result 跟后面的句子用逗号隔开。Okay, folks, that's one down and four to go.、Mm. Hey, and that's not all. Okay, I've got some more good news. It looks like our second discussion 
will be about as challenging as the first, and that's a good thing. In order to, or so as to. These phrases are used to tell people why. Why you're doing something. If you did A in order to be, A helped you to do or to achieve B, which is why you did it, which is why you did A. Now, doing A so as to be is much the same. Okay, you're doing one thing in order to bring about another thing. Note, the pattern in order to plus verb can be shortened to to verb. For example, I moved into a cabin in the woods so as to live and experience life more deeply. Like Henry David Thoreau. <laughs> 为了对生命有更深的体认，这样老师他要搬到森林里面的小屋居住，这一定是骗人的。他非常讨厌露营这种户外活动。OK， in order to 或者是 so as to 都可以用来表达为了怎么样，以便怎么样。后面要接原形动词。那这边提醒同学们， in order to 加原形动词也可以写成 to 加原形动词。那它们可以摆在句首或是摆在主要子句的后方。至于 so as to 加原形动词，这部分比较少用在句首。好，例如 ，He pulled his car over to look at the map. 为了要看地图，他就把车停到路边。Well, Jeff, the next of our explanations has me thinking that we're not done with the idea of lifespan quite yet. I can see what you mean. After all, if you live a longer life. You extend your lifespan.、Mm -hmm. Live a longer life. This, everyone, is a great phrase for telling people the type of life you'd like to live or lead. You can live or lead an exciting life, a quiet life, a happy life, a long or a longer life, etc. It all boils down to the following phrase: to live or lead a or an plus adjective. Plus life. For example, he died young, but he certainly led an interesting life. Or, if you want to live a longer life, you should quit smoking. 好 ，Jeff 老师的第一个例句是说，那个人呢、啊，虽然英年早逝，不过他生活过得很丰富，很有趣。那第二个例句就是说，如果你想要活久一点，就应该要戒烟喽。好，我们要表达活久一点，英文可以说 live a longer life。那当我们用 live 或者是 lead 加上 a 或 an 加上形容词再加上 life， 就可以用来表达过着什么样的生活。像是 they moved to the countryside in order to lead a quiet life。为了要过宁静的生活，他们搬到乡下去住。Well, Jeff. You almost let the cat out of the bag there. It's not yet time to talk about quitting smoking. Whoops, my bad. I guess that was a poor decision on my part. Anyway, speaking of decisions, 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 decisions. Make up one's mind to verb. If you make up your mind to do something. You have decided to do that thing, and no one's going to stop you because, well, you're determined. For example, I have made up my mind to end our business relationship at the end of the fiscal year. 我已经下定决心要在这个会计年度结束时终止我们之间的商业关系。好，我们来看 make up one's mind 表示下定决心。那你后面可以接不定词，也就是 to 加原形动词来表达下定决心做某事。例如 ，Nina made up her mind to cut off all contact with her ex-boyfriend. Nina 下定决心要跟前男友断绝所有的联系。All right, everyone, we've almost done. Yes, all that remains between us and a nice relaxing break is the following discussion. Right. Oh, once again, a word to the wise: we will not be taking a smoke break when we take our break, and you shouldn't do that either. Don't smoke, and if you do smoke, stop, quit right now. Quit or stop smoking. Everyone, smoking is a nasty habit. 
that is really bad for you. As such, you should kick this habit. People who, sh who smoke should smoke no longer and should cease their smoking ASAP. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Good. I'm saying that anyone who smokes should quit smoking or should stop smoking. For example, if you don't stop smoking, your lungs might never heal. Quit smoking stop smoking. Her uncle's health improved after he quit smoking. So the sentence could be Therefore, smokers should make up their minds to quit smoking right away in order to live a longer life. Okay, you guys, with that we are all done. I hope though that this month's translation practice has been of some use to you. Me too. But for now, we're totally out of time. Translation practice yes is over, and it is time for a break. Don't go away though. We'll be back soon. soon. 欢迎收看就爱讲英文我是优夫人我是季安情人节要到了该怎么告白比较好呢当然就直接来啊没了今天要跟大家分享一些告白时会用到的英文一 <笑> I think I have a crush on you 二 Play hard to get 三 Ask her out on a date. 四. Confess your love to her. 五. Is she seeing someone? 我跟你说, 我最近不小心喜欢上一个女孩了。你就是迷恋喜欢某人,对某人有种爱上迷恋的感觉。是的。你不知道该怎么出手是吗?是的。英文怎么说? I think I have a crush on Julia. Julian, Julian, oh, 对不起, 对, 托尼, Julia. I think I have a crush on someone. 就是我喜欢上突然很爱很迷恋的那种感觉的feel。可是我不知道怎么表白。优夫人在这儿告诉你,你太嫩了。攀谈的时候你不能显得太热络这样太热络 play hard to get play hard to get 这个就是故作冷淡的意思 装作没事, play hard to get OK 是的 那要跟朋友一样聊天是吗？对对对，就当然没有什么事发生，我没有喜欢你哦，好吧，我们就是friend，好friend，好，这个叫做chat oh, okay. with him，chat with her like a friend，chat with him，chat with her like a friend。OK，那我要怎么样才能够让他爱上我呢？What okay. should I do to make her fall in love with me？ 优夫人告诉你,接下来聊着聊着就慢慢就熟了。但是要做到,有答以上,恋人未满。你就可以直接说。说。Do you know that I used to have to crush on you? Oh, do you know that I used to have a crush on you? 哇,这句话厉害耶。就是,你知道我以前很喜欢你吗? 哇,听到这,他喜欢我吗?他喜欢吗? <笑> 他会这样对对对哦他就开始小鹿乱撞了是吗乱撞对这话一讲我跟你讲马上两个功能啊第一个就是表白哦那他知道我喜欢他第二个大家都对方开始胡思乱想啊以前喜欢那现在不喜欢
，对方对你有一点点 yes 哦。Okay, ask her out，、嗯、对，你就 confess your love to her。OK， confess， 好 ，confess my love to her。好，这样我比较了解了。OK， confess 是坦白承认的意思。不过我还是要先问一下他，就是他有没有男朋友啦？这个东西我要怎么问呢？有对象就叫做啊、uh, ，seeing someone 啊，比如说 is she seeing someone？ 他有没有对象？我可以问其他人嘛，对不对？嗯、我要问他的话就是 ，Are you seeing someone？ 那如果死会的话，但是我讲了这么多，你怎么会不知道他是不是单身呢？对，如果有对象，<笑>死会活标。再追不难，对不对？那他有对象就算了吧，生活单纯一点好不好？对对，不是，如果他对你没意思，你就算了吧。哦，哦好吧，不就这么简单吗？是是是。收费，<笑>我们先看一下 ，Life Action。有有。Yeah. I think I have a crush on Felicity. What should I do to make her fall in love with me? You can just tell her. That you used to have a crush on her,、okay. then she will wonder why you don't like her anymore. Cool. Do you think I should play hard to get? <gasps> yes. Just chat with her like a friend when the time is right. Ask her out. Build up courage. All right.、Build、and confess、courage. your love to her. What if she's already seen someone? Well, there are plenty of fish in the sea, you know. No. <laughs>